cartooning as we know it today began sort of right here in Montreal uh, with the hiring of Henri Julien in the early 1890s. Uh, one of the first anywhere to be hired as an editorial page cartoonist. And since that time, there's been very good cartooning, good quality cartooning in the country, but it really began to evolve uh, in the late 40s and through the 1950s and the 60s with the emergence of three individuals, three very important people working in different parts of the country in very different styles. But they had enormous respect for each other. They all knew each other. There was Robert La Palme right here in Montreal who was doing tremendous caricatures of Duplessis. Secondly, there was Duncan McPherson at the Toronto Star uh, who, did, uh, who made his reputation initially on his tremendous caricatures of John Diefenbaker. And then a, a very different uh, kind of cartoonist was Len Norris, who was working in Vancouver, drawing very much social cartoons on social credit and, uh, and life in BC. The thing about all three of these individuals is they were great draftsmen. They could all draw like the blazes. It was beautiful, beautiful stuff. And they drew differently from each other with a different point of view. I think the key was it gave editors in Canada a real taste for doing something differently from the United States uh, and, uh, and really something with a little bite and flavor and something that people would talk about. I'm going to show you uh, the best known cartoon to appear in Quebec in modern history. It was Gilles Duceppe during an election campaign and he was campaigning. And Monsieur Duceppe visited a cheese factory and he put on one of those silly shower caps, as you're required to do in any factory. And so uh, uh, Shaplow drew him saying, and tomorrow I'm going to visit a condom factory. Well, the reaction was stunning. And Duceppe, it took Duceppe years to get over this cartoon. And everywhere he went, it sort of became a joke. Wonderful cartoon. Every couple of years, the Canadian cartoonists get together uh, they gather together to talk about this, that, and the other. It used to be in the old days, all they did was drink a lot of beer and bitch about editors. Uh, I, I mean, and, and you know, we'd get together in Winnipeg, and there was no budget or anything like that. But given the discussion these days, you get so much of it, and people in the media are like parrots, where they're saying, oh, editorial page cartooning is dead, and all this, that, and the other. I decided that we should have a convention in Montreal, you know, because Montreal is probably the best city in North America to be a cartoonist in, given the political dialogue and wonderful stuff that goes on here. We're all entertained by all this and that's why we thrive. Uh, I decided to do a selection of the best cartoons, their favorite cartoons. In the process I discovered something that I don't think anybody ever noticed before. There are a collection of half a dozen cartoonists in this country working here we, know, we don't know all that much about who are famous elsewhere. Why not bring these people in? So this is what this gathering of Canadian cartoonists is really about, to sort of present a positive face and cheer them up a little bit too because they get all of this stuff. Uh, and they're an extremely talented bunch and I think they should be told as much. Very funny. Graham Harrop, Vancouver Sun. This is the actual exhibition that's going to be appearing all summer at the McCord Museum of all of the cartoons chosen by the cartoonists themselves across Canada. My dog's checking out a few cartoons here. And every drawing, virtually every drawing, has a story to it. Um, how a politician might have reacted, uh, uh, how the press reacted, that sort of thing. This was drawn, I drew this cartoon in 1976. Okay, everybody take a value. Uh, it was the day after René Lévesque was uh, elected as Premier of Quebec, the first separatist Premier. And it seemed just right because the, everybody, the readers of the Gazette particularly, seemed to be freaking out. And I thought, well, they should take a volume and relax. So I drew him pointing out saying, okay, everybody take a volume. Well, the reaction was phenomenal and it, I guess it, uh, it's become part of the language now. You know, when you want somebody to sort of slow down, you say, okay, take a volume. I felt it was important with this gathering of cartoonists to have an exhibition. And what this exhibition basically is a collection 
of cartoons that the cartoonists have chosen themselves as being representative of them. In other words, their favorite piece or most controversial piece. Therefore, it makes for a great collection of, uh, of, of uh, really fascinating and eclectic points of view and that sort of thing. And we've also produced a little book on it. Uh, and so this becomes, in effect, a souvenir of a time, a place, and a collection of cartoonists.